What up techies? Welcome back. Please subscribe by hitting the bell notification to stay updated on our new videos. One could argue that the battery is the groundwork upon which all other technological progress in the modern era is built. Batteries are used in devices such as smartphones, tablets, and electric vehicles that cannot always be plugged into an external power source. The battery industry has become one of the most dynamic in recent years as a direct result of the intense competition in the market. Despite the extensive battery testing that has gone before, the recent success of one battery has surprised the field. The nuclear diamond battery is aptly named, as it is expected to last for at least that long. You could, in theory, be alive to see many later generations if you put one of these batteries in your pacemaker. Find out more about this groundbreaking innovation with me. What is this new battery exactly? How does it work? And why does everyone keep saying how wonderful it is? Join us as we examine the groundbreaking nuclear diamond battery that has revolutionized the sector. We will go over all the information you require regarding it. Will you put nuclear waste from a power plant into your smartphone? Or will you let it power your electric vehicle? Many people recoil in horror at the mere mention of nuclear materials due to their dangerous radiation. Yet, the waste produced during generating power from nuclear materials can potentially be the power source of the future nuclear industry. Compared to the common lithium-ion batteries that are all around us, diamond batteries are a significant improvement. While lithium-ion batteries have undoubtedly played a significant role in the proliferation of electronic devices, they also have their drawbacks, which are serious enough to make scientists continue searching for better batteries. Because of the low energy density of lithium-ion batteries, one of the most obvious places where their drawbacks may be seen is in electric vehicles. Some individuals are hesitant to adopt electric cars since lithium-ion batteries have to be heavy to provide an adequate driving range. Electric cars have a shorter range of what they can cover on a full tank than gas-powered vehicles. Even with the quickest charger, recharging a lithium-ion battery can take a significant amount of time. This is inconvenient compared to refueling an internal combustion engine vehicle, which can be accomplished in a much shorter amount of time. One more issue with lithium batteries is how long they last. One issue that all lithium-ion batteries face is degradation, which causes them to lose their ability to store a charge over time gradually. Even though lithium-ion battery prices have dropped significantly in recent years, the batteries are still expensive, making them the single most expensive component in an electric vehicle. Batteries made of graphene, batteries that don't lose their charge, batteries made of lossless materials, and many others exist. Still, none of them can match the durability of nuclear diamond batteries. These are batteries that can last thousands of years and are good for the environment because they use up materials that could pose a safety risk. Imagine that the battery in your smartphone will survive longer than the phone itself. In 2016, a group of researchers, physicists, and chemists came together at the University of Bristol and began working on what they dubbed a beta voltaic device. The beta decay of nuclear waste powered it led to the naming of the batteries as radioactive diamond batteries. However, the reason the name was picked is unclear. The process known as beta decay occurs when the nucleus of an atom has an excess of particles and releases some of them to obtain a more stable ratio of protons to neutrons. This results in the production of a form of ionizing radiation known as beta radiation which involves many electrons or positrons known as beta particles moving at a high speed and with a lot of energy. A typical beta voltaic cell consists of thin layers of radioactive material between semiconductors. As the nuclear material decays, it emits beta particles that knock electrons loose in the semiconductor creating an electric current. However, the power density of the radioactive source is lower the further it is from the semiconductor which means that nuclear batteries are much less efficient than other batteries. However, there is a fix for this problem, and it is possible to make nuclear batteries as efficient as other types of batteries. Researchers have found a way to grow radioactive diamonds by using methane containing the radioactive isotope carbon-14, which can be harvested from radiated reactor graphite blocks. The process that is used to make radioactive batteries is called chemical vapor deposition, and it is also widely used in the production of artificial diamonds. However, researchers have modified the process so that it can be used to grow radioactive diamonds. When beta radiation is applied to these diamonds, they transform into semiconductors and become a radioactive source. As a result, you can create a battery with a long life that doesn't need to be recharged. It is continually fueled by the nuclear waste contained within its innards, enabling it to charge itself for eons with little to no discernible loss for hundreds of years. In theory, a single battery can continue to provide power for more than a thousand years without ever requiring replacement or recharging. If you want to believe this claim, consider the following. Nanodiamond battery, often known as NDB, 
is one of the young companies working on nuclear diamond batteries. NDB has been building its nuclear diamond batteries by using layers of impossibly tiny paneled nanodiamonds for proper context. The company bases its batteries on high-powered diamond-based alpha, beta, and neutron voltaic formulas for long life and green energy batteries. It aims to power devices ranging from small insulin pumps to space rovers traversing the surface of Mars for decades without human intervention. One nanometer is equal to one billionth of a meter. The company favors diamonds because of their exceptional heat conductance, which makes them ideal for electronic devices. In fact, diamonds are the most well-known natural conductor of heat, and they are three to four times more effective than copper or silver. Chemical vapor deposition is the process that produces these diamonds. During this process, gases are heated to extremely high temperatures to coerce carbon into crystallizing on the substrate. However, the diamonds produced as a result of this process have a blue color and they have higher conductivity than those produced through traditional methods. The NDB uses radioactive isotopes of uranium and plutonium from radioactive power plants waste from their single crystal diamonds, which are just a few square millimeters in size to move heat away from the radioactively decaying isotope so quickly that the transaction is completed in less than a second. Although naturally occurring blue diamonds exist, they are extremely rare and much more expensive than those produced artificially. Gal Sharafi, the chief executive officer of nanodiamond batteries, lauds the small size of the nanodiamond battery cells as an advantage for scalability. For instance, a wristwatch that only uses 2 microwatts of power is an excellent candidate for a small NDB cell. On the other hand, if you need to power a different application, you can increase the number of stacked cells to meet the demand. Sharafi imagines the nuclear diamond battery powering satellites or space vehicles. A great example is the iconic twin NASA probes named Voyagers, which do not consume much power. When they launched in 1977, they were each equipped with three multi-hundred watt radioisotope thermoelectric generators for power. The power output of each generator started at just 158 watts, which is less energy than is required to power a household light fixture for an entire day. Elon Musk's neural link device, which will interact with the brain, is also capable of being outfitted with nuclear diamond batteries, which means that they do not need to be charged regularly. For the company's first commercial product, it plans to release a smartwatch. The launch is anticipated for 2022. If these plans come to fruition, consumers can purchase one watch powered by a single battery and hand it down through the family without ever having to get a new one. The nuclear diamond battery will soon be available for purchase after being in development for many years and requiring a lot of labor. The battery has a long life, is safe for the environment, and can be used for various tasks and purposes. Please take a moment to share your thoughts on the nuclear diamond battery by giving our video a like and leaving a comment on this particular topic. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any new information regarding this revolutionary product.